What's going on people? This is your boy Theo and this is a real talk. Um, so, 100 days of Richie Sunak, 100 days into his premiership. So, what do we think? How did we get here? Well, we all know how we got here. Um, he wasn't even elected to begin with. He won a leadership um he won a leadership um, cont a contest in which in which he came second to which the other prime minister having to mess up the economy which we're now in dire straits of because now we are facing interest ra rates that's four percent now i know that in some ways it looks like we're almost heading to a recession but it's got the feel of it right now and i don't know how things are going to get even better He's set out when he took office a hundred days ago. He set out. He wanted to do. Um, he wanted to earn our trust. He wanted to talk about transparency. He wanted to do everything that he can do that would be better than his predecessors. I'm talking Theresa May. I'm talking Liz Truss. Even Boris Johnson. They were even talking about. It's even talking about that. But honestly, it's not going well, and we need a change. We need a general election. We need it now. We cannot have this this thing that's going on with this country right now. And it's making everybody divisible when we should be a united kingdom. Brexit hasn't even worked. I said this before. Brexit hasn't even worked. You know, we've still got problems going on around that. And it's not worked. Richard Sunak can't even get rid of Nadim Sahawi. <laughs> and it took him it took him a good two, three weeks to actually do it in the end. Over his tax returns. This guy hasn't even been born into what it's like for the likes of you and me to survive and having to do what we can to um keep going. He has been more or less been born into wealth. Now, yes, it's all right for some. I'm not saying that, um, you know, when you're better off and, and all that stuff. But with that, it comes a complete disconnect. Because when you are um, privileged and when you're in a certain position where you can do certain things, you won't understand what it's like for people having to, to, having to choose between heating and eating because that's the reality of it. You won't understand of people having to ring GPs at 8 a.m. in the mornings to try and get an appointment. You won't understand that. Why? Because you go private. You don't understand that. And still he thinks that he can he can help. I'm not so sure if he can. I'm not. I'm not even like sold on, on, on what he's been doing the last 100 days. So He's going to do this big interview with Piers Morgan on Piers Morgan Uncensored. I will be watching that to see exactly how he's fared. But it's a hundred days. And still, yet still, this country is no better off. I don't understand why the likes of Richard Sunak has been... I don't know why, they, I don't know why they're in politics in the first place. Because it's not to help people. It's not to really kind of understand, um, you know, w what the mood of the nation's like. Because I don't think he understands. I mean, just the other, other day I saw him in a video talking to a homeless person. And he's, he's like, I, I saw that conversation. I was like, I was like, wow, you really don't get it, do you? Like, if it was me that's out there, I would be... I would be helping them. I would be trying to um, sort them out, trying to point them in the right direction. That would be what I would be doing. You talk about the like going to the um, the, the hospitals and speaking to patients, and the patient tells you dead in the face that these people need to be paid, and you're there going, "Ah, oh, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying," and then you go on to the. Um, um, the 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 publications, new pub, news publications, and do the rounds, and always say that oh, it's the independent um, um, pay body that needs to do this. No, you are the prime minister. If you really, really wanted to help, 
If you really think that you can actually make a difference to this country, right? You need to get real. You need to speak to the people that happen to having to go through things and find a way to actually help them instead of having to think, oh, okay, yeah, they can do this, and but they have to go through all this stuff. And, and like, no. If you really want to help, help. Don't just do it because it's tokenism. Don't just do it because you think it's all about looking good and wanting to bet in yourself in the process. If people really can see who you are as a person, right, then people will actually respect you more. But instead, we got this. We got this. We got these people that's coming to power, and they got no idea how to wield that power. No idea how to help everybody. It's all about themselves, making themselves number one, and we're the ones who are paying the price for it. I don't mean to be on a rant. It's not a quick rant. This is a real talk, and I'm just literally trying to tell you that, seriously, something needs to change. Something has got to give. But we're not going to get there, are we? The only way we're going to do that is a general election, which is in about 18 months' time. But yeah, if you like what i got to say, like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Richie Sunat's 100 Days in Power. Um, and I'll be back with another video soon. Take care, people. Peace.